Hi, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your October 1st to the 15th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what energy we have to be mindful of during this time here, Cancer. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. So we have Sir Nunus. Now, Sir Nunus is, is the devil in this Druidcraft, Druidcraft, Druidcraft or Celticraft? No, Druidcraft deck. So here we have Capricorn energy coming through quite strongly because Capricorn is represented by the devil in the Major Arcana. But we also have a sense of things being out of our control and maybe not thinking through the consequences you know, of certain actions. So that's going to be something that we, we need to be aware of during this time, that we might not be looking at the big picture. We might be looking at instant gratification and not really seeing all the kind of nooks and crannies of things, not being able to see kind of the consequences to our actions or the consequences to certain actions during this time. And it can even be that we're dealing with people who aren't looking at the bigger picture, aren't seeing the consequences of their actions. They're just so caught up in the here and the now and in their own pleasure. You have, you know, the lovers splayed out on, on the forest floor. And then you have Sir Nunus coming, the god of, of the floor, forest, the god of, of chaos. So just, just be mindful that people aren't looking at the big picture and we ourselves might have a bit of difficulty looking at the bigger picture of everything. So let's see here, Cancer, what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. So we are crowned with the Queen of Wands. Then we have the Five of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Pentacles financially and also business-wise. This is going to be a prosperous time for us. This is going to be a time where we're going to see our hard work, what we have invested either our money or our time, our effort into really starting to bear fruit in a very big way. We also have very strong earth sign energy coming forward, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn coming forward here. We also have that warning of that Capricorn right here. So, so just be aware of that. It can be a blessing person, but there can also be somebody who is a bit chaotic during this time or their chaos is, is targeted towards this this Capricorn in our lives. So just be aware of this because this is a general reading. It can be seen many different ways. We have the Queen of Wands crowning everything. There is just a sense of prosperity. There is a sense of our passions really coming to light during this time. And it's something that we've we've not wanted to show or we've kind of held ourselves back in one way or another. And we're going to find that we're facing a certain headache, it's something where we faced this this headache, this this doubt, this fear, this kind of frustration before. And now we're starting to see ourselves kind of breaking away from it, but also 
departmentalizing. Like sometimes, you know, certain things are just headaches or certain things with certain people are just going to be more complicated than with others. And that's going to be something, Cancer, that we're really quite aware of during this time. We can't expect everything from everyone or we have to know what to expect of certain people. So that's going to be something that we're really... That we're really coming to conclusions with during this time. We can't even be coming to terms with certain things. We could have trusted a person more than maybe we should have because they've tr proven to be not somebody who who can carry out what they say they're going to carry out, can be who they say they're going to be. There, There's also something here where we're going to be facing something, again, that we have faced before. But this is something that we have faced before. It's going to trigger, it's going to be triggered by something somebody says, something somebody does. We're going to be looking at things and then all of a sudden it's going to be like, oh, that's why I do this or, oh, that's why I'm hiding away or that's why I'm so frustrated right now. There's something here that's just a bit of chaos around us that we're going to be looking at and it's been following a pattern. Now we're becoming much more aware of that pattern. With the the blessing from God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe of the Ace of Pentacles, we're looking at our bounty. We're looking at our wealth. We're looking at at our prosperity. And we're starting to see the roots running deep. We're starting to see that we've planted something good. And this is going to happen slowly because we're not seeing things really come to fruition in our waking world as quickly as we want. You see the little sprouts right here of what we've been giving our time to. It's like, well, why have you been wasting your time? And we can even feel that way, Cancer. Like, why have I been wasting my time? The whatever I am I'm dedicating myself to, it isn't bearing fruit. It isn't moving forward the way that I wanted it to. You know, what's wrong with me type of thing. Divinity is very much telling us to not lose faith in us, to not lose sight of what we want, to not lose the bigger picture of where we want to be and who we are and what we're looking for in our lives and what we view as prosperous. You know, some people might look at what we do and think, oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. And others would say, oh, I see why you do it. You know, it makes perfect sense. But right now, we're really not looking for the approval of everybody else. We're really looking for the the prosperity, the approval, and, and the bounty of ourselves. There... There is a sense here of a security with money. So even if you're having financial difficulties because of price increases, because of the world right now and everything that has been going on, there is still a sense of security around you. There's a sense of you're okay. Be smart with things. Don't be overly frivolous. That's going to be very important. But there is, <coughs> excuse me. There's also a sense of somebody watching over you. There, There is a sense of a greater connection coming forward. You're crowned with the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands has the fire in her hand. There's just a rejoicing in our magic, in our spark, in the thing that brings us pleasure, that really sets us apart from others, and that moves us towards our goals and where we want to be and really lets us shine. We're also going to find during this time, you know, she has the cat at her, you know, by her lap. He has the dog by his lap that we're going to find great comfort in either those who are astoundingly loyal to us but also our pets. And so this is going to be a time, even if you've, you know, gone through the loss of a pet, or if you've been thinking, okay, should I get a pet? Shouldn't I? You're going to find great comfort with, with a pet. So that's going to be something here that very much comes up. That is very much a sense of, I need that, that sense of loyalty to me right now, or that sense of just, just unwavering love. That's really going to help move us forward. That's really going to help charge us after a long day. day. The King of Pentacles, prosperity and success. Now you yourself can be looking at things much more pragmatically. You know, the Queen of Wands is that spark, that fire that's just coming forward. The King of Pentacles is much more a sense of how is everything connected? How are things moving forward? Where am I headed? What do I want? Where am I going? And how does this lead me to my success. So we're seeing the fire, the passion that ignites us, but we're seeing the prosperity that is a part of us really guiding us towards something bigger. But we can really start to see everything as being interconnected. We can also start to see that that gives us a bit of a headache because instead of thinking, oh, everything's separate and, you know, I can departmentalize everything, it, it's not going to be as easy, even though Spirit it has told us in the beginning, okay, you'll be able to say, well, that person's just like this, and this is what I need to do now. There is also going to be the sense of, but it's all woven into my life. And so I need to start doing what's right, what's easiest, what's most beneficial for me, what really helps me move forward to where it is that I want to be in my life and for myself. 
there is something coming up. I mean, there's a battle coming up that we fought before. It, it feels very, very personal. Now, this can be a battle with somebody who is just very personal in our lives. They can have a tendency to only see our life worth in our work, in our, you know, sense of show me your bank account kind of thing. I'll tell you how prosperous you are. And that's going to be something that we just find off-putting during this time. Most definitely, we could have found that person kind of funny before, but right now we really don't, or we could have wanted to gain their approval through proving it to them. We really don't, and that's because we already are blessed, and we know that. There is a sense of things taking root. There is also a sense of, of seeing the bigger picture for things, and also not wanting to keep ourselves small anymore. There's a real sense here during this time, Cancer, of I get to be large. You know, I get to take up space. I get to, you know, state what I, I want for my life and how I need to move forward for me. Now, the subconscious energy to be mindful of is the hermit. Now, the hermit is Virgo energy. Understand also during this time that we're coming out of Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde ends on October 1st. So then we'll be in the post shadow period, which is a time where we're kind of getting our footing, really seeing what we want. That's why words, we can be having those old battles and having to work through things that we, we thought we might have already worked through. We might, we thought of might have, we thought we might have already gotten the answers to, but are finding out that we don't. With the hermit, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. So we can find that this person just loves to talk or this energy here loves to talk, but is very confused in what they're saying and doesn't really have a real goal. They can also feel very pulled away from us. We ourselves subconsciously can feel very pulled away. And that's going to be something that we need to be mindful of. We need to be mindful of kind of shutting ourselves out from the rest of the world saying, I'm only going to have those around me who absolutely agree with me all the time and not listen to anything else. And so that's going to be something that can be a bit challenging. And it moves us to our subconscious. Oh, I love this tarot message. And we have the queen of pentacles. So whenever I have the king and the queen from the, the same suit in a reading from the same deck, you know, this denotes a soulmate connection, a true love connection. This can be a business partner. You know, this can be somebody who gets you money-wise, financially. This can be also, you know, finding somebody who you have a really good relationship, but you have the same kind of goals. Your your love, and this can be a little hard, Cancer, for Cancers, because for you guys, because you love love and you love that connection with love, but this is going to be a person who's much more practical and you're going to see that their practicality is is very it's very comforting. It's like their practicality matches your practicality and they want the same things from life that you want from life. And so it might not be, oh my gosh, I've just gotten swept off my feet, but it can very well be a, oh my gosh, you know, this, this works. And I don't understand how it works, but it is also part of that blessing from God's source spirit. However, you see the divine, the universe. So there is this real sense of a betrayal of wealth. People are going to look at you during this time, Cancer, and they're going to see somebody wealthy. They're going to see somebody prosperous. They're going to see somebody who stands out, who holds themselves well. You're going to really exude that. Subconsciously, you're also going to be looking at ways to nurture your wealth, not just how is everything intertwined, but how do I nurture what is absolutely and profoundly important to me? And how do I keep this going? All right, Cancer, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Cancer, and may blessings and prosperity always be with you.